For Godzilla, Comp was asked to have a more involved role in art directing sequences. Compositors were given a full complement of lighting, utility, and deep passes in order to sculpt shots using light and shadows. This emphasized the vastness of the environments and guided the viewer's eyes to areas of interest. Comp also pushed the idea of scale in most shots, adding layers of atmosphere, as well as simplifying shapes to create silhouettes, which helped sell depth. In addition, practical elements and nuke-generated particles were added to enhance already impressive FX renders and give shots more grit and realism. In some occasions, Comp orchestrated the timing of interactive elements to bring full CG shots to life. An example would be revealing Ghidorah's silhouette from within a supercell, driven by lightning strikes, using a combination of lighting, FX, and DMP. On other occasions, Comp had to fake in light sources while trying to maintain photorealism in order to tell the story. This was created by relighting the CG using carefully placed animated mats generated from utility passes, projections, or just simple rotor shapes. In shots where creatures were involved, Comp tried to keep the emphasis on the gigantic beasts and tried to set them in an environment that supports their scale. This meant dialing the atmospheric haze to suggest the expansiveness of the environment, adding a number of smaller details to further emphasize scale through contrast, and adjusting the amount of light falloff to tie in with the creature's gigantic proportions.